with some buttons, beads, and a little bit of know-how, we can be off and making customized jewelry. Hello, May Flom here for the Dress It Up Button Shop, and today I'm going to show you how I am turning Minnie Mouse Button into a necklace. For this project, so I have a wood pendant piece. These are just blanks that I have from a very long time ago, and I thought this would make a really fun necklace piece, although you could make a lot of different types of things with it. And you're going to start with your Minnie Mouse shank button, trim the shank off, paint if you want whatever color you would like to paint that, and then set it aside, allow it to dry. The other things we're going to do to prepare this, if you wanted to gold leaf the edges, you could. If you wanted to paint the edges, I'm using an alcohol-based marker here to colorize the edges there's a lot of options for customization here but this is just a basic wood you could also use metal pendant piece that is ready to be customized the next thing i'm going to do is get out some crafty glitter glue and i'm spreading this all around on the front this is going to give a sparkly iridescent white based mini mouse here and I'm just spreading it all around, making sure it's a nice thick layer so that we're going to see lots of sparkle and shine. A project like this requires some preparation and some thinking ahead. So for example, I could see that Minnie Mouse was going to look great on there, but before I glue her on, I want to prep everything just so. Now I am using a glossy finish adhesive. This is an adhesive that will dry shiny and clear. So this is just going to create a sealed layer over our pendant and over our glitter glue to make everything shine absolutely beautifully. I'm also going to apply some of this to the back of my Minnie Mouse button, which has the shank removed, of course. And I'm also going to make sure that the pendant hole there, that the glue does not fill it up. We do not want to have that clogged up and have to deal with that. We want it to be nice and open. So again, adding a little bit of extra here just to make sure that this really stays stuck. Once this is adhesive is dry, it is an archival clear drying adhesive, so it is going to really last and keep Minnie Mouse looking beautiful there. Lots of creative options as far as how you're making your pendant, and again, I mentioned what you do with your pendant. Now what I am doing here is I have a heart-shaped silver chain, and I also have a bit of beading wire that I have clamped onto one end of my chain. Now I'm just going to string beads. These Jesse James Beads Mini Mixes are available on the Dress It Up button website for sale. And the fun thing about these is there's not just beads, but it's a whole mix. There's little tassels, there's charms, there's rhinestone beads, there's small beads, big beads, decorative beads. And what I love about this is I don't always have all of these assortments of beads around, but purchasing these mini mixes gives me a lot of options with only a few products and they store together nicely. So if you are not, if you only do the occasional beading, these are great products for you because they're so self-contained, easy, easily stored and would work for so many things. Now I'm just keeping this really simple. I'm just going to string all of these beads fairly randomly all along here. Once the wire is full, I will just loop it through the other end of the chain and clamp it down. Depending on what kind of jewelry making tools you have, what kind of supplies you have, and what methods you prefer, there's lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to just skip ahead here because this is just a little tedious as I pull the wire through and get everything just so. Once we do though, it's time for jump rings and finishing touches. So with jump rings, remember you want to pull, you don't want to pull them apart. You want to twist so that you're opening it, but not stretching out the circle. And then I've got my little tassels here. I'm going to be adding a few of these to my chain just for a fun little extra added embellishment. I think that's a lot of fun and it adds movement. It adds detail. It could be added anywhere along this, to be honest. I just like it right at the start of the chain, which is going to be kind of where, probably along my collarbone is where that point is going to be, where this is going to hang. And then once everything is dry, you do want to allow Minnie Mouse to completely dry. Once she is all dry, you're going to use a larger jump ring and do the same thing, but you're going to look at the beads, figure out where the center is, and you're going to put that jump ring through the pendant and then through the beads, so between two beads, depending on where center is. And then remember that with your tools, you're twisting 
to open and close, not pulling apart. Once this is done, you guessed it, it's ready to wear, whether you're headed to a Disney park out on the town or this is a gift for a friend. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video to show how you can take one of your Disney buttons and turn it into jewelry.